Hello and what is up guys, my name is Shinman Tagazo. Welcome to another video and here's hoping that you are staying safe and staying indoors so that you don't catch any of those bad uh, things outside. So today what we'll talk about is how does Claude funneling work. So if you've been playing ranked games, you might have heard this at least once from a teammate and you're not sure what it means. So I'm here to tell you and show you how it works. Hopefully this will be helpful in case you're interested in applying this to your games. So first of all, what is funneling? So this is a funnel and this is your marksman. And these are all the kills, the golds, the jungle monsters. So the goal is to get everything, every kind of resources, XP, buff, gold, into one hero. And hope that that hero can kill everyone and carry the entire team when it comes to damage, burst, getting objectives, getting towers, everything. So let's say you pick Claude and everyone in your team knows what to do. The basic lineup is going to be like this. So it should consist of one marksman, one support, one tank, and two fighters. So the marksman support and tank rotates around the map, gets all the jungle skills that they can to snowball and fast-paced clods or, or the marksman's item build and hero level. The role of the two fighters is to split push in the side lanes, top and bottom lane, create distraction, get towers, get objectives, and wait for the rotating trio to drop by from time to time for a gank. So before we start the demonstration, let me show you the build I've been using for Claude. So it's going to be Assassin. I don't care what you put on the first row, the second row, but the talent, the third row should be on Bounty Hunter. The more gold that you can get early game, the faster that you can get items and transition into late game, the monster late game marksman that you are. For battle spells, you should only take Purify because you do not need to die or you can't afford to die to stuns. When you're getting caught, the enemies will be targeting you all the time, so this is perfect to escape any disables or CCs. The more times you die in a match while you're trying to do this funneling marksman uh, strategy, the less it will become effective because you're not able to get gold kills, minions, jungle monsters while you're dead. For the build, this is what's been working. I suggest you try it out first. Um, so you get cooldown reduction, you still have Demon Hunter Sword and Golden Staff in there, but you have Magic Shoes and Endless Battle. So this will help in the cooldown of your skill too, but a great deal. And also you can get Thunder Belt for more cooldown reduction and some tankiness. And that is all for the prep. So if everything went according to plan, then the game should look like this. So I will leave you to watch this game. And hopefully you learn how this works and the next time you hear someone say funnel or Claude funnel then you'll know what to do. You don't really have to be the Claude in this kind of formation, this kind of game. You can play the support, you can be the, the Nana, you can be the fighter who splits, stays on one of the side lanes or you can be the tank supporting the marksman. But whatever happens, this is how it usually goes. So thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the game and I'll see you soon. Peace. Initiate retreat. Show me the money. Request backup. Launch attack. First blood. Double kill. Launch attack. Triple kill. Request backup. Launch attack. Request backup. Attack! 
Request backup! Launch attack! Initiate retreat! Initiate retreat! Turtle resurrecting soon! An enemy has initiate retreat! Launch attack! Request backup. An enemy has been slain. Request backup. Request backup. Initiate retreat. Launch attack. Initiate retreat! An ally has slain the turtle! Request backup! Shut down! Request backup! Destroy the turret! Launch attack! The team destroy the turret! Launch attack!
Shivani. Initiate retreat. Legendary killing spree. Launch attack. Your team and destroyed the turret.